You're watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2018 in Barcelona. And I'm joined now by Ranga Rangachari, who is Vice President of Storage and Big Data at Red Hat. Ranga, good to talk to you on Telecom TV. With public and private clouds more or less mainstream now, how will communication service providers leverage the hybrid cloud? What uh, the hybrid cloud essentially enables is it really elevates the importance of software-defined infrastructure. So for a public cloud as well as a hybrid cloud infrastructure, the CSPs or the communication service providers need to provide their customers a unified way and how their applications can be portable across private clouds as well as public clouds. And essentially what that means is it elevates the importance of a true software-defined infrastructure so that it sits on top not just of your internal private cloud but also multiple public clouds. For the past few years now we've been talking about how software is redefining this industry but what does it actually mean to deliver software and how is Red Hat helping CSPs and network equipment providers with this change? So, you know, in the uh, CSP market, what they're essentially trying to do is how do they move from an asset heavy to an asset light model? And to do that, they got to really keep two things in mind, which is to their customers provide time to value, which is how quickly can they get their infrastructure up and running? And more importantly, the partner or the vendor they work with, do they have a strong ecosystem of partners who can help them provide a complete solution? So I think those are some of the two key ingredients for CSPs to be successful in helping their customers move towards a digital transformation phase as they embark on this new journey. You've already mentioned software-defined infrastructure, but how does software-defined storage fit into the CSP picture? So software-defined infrastructure at a high level make, is comprised of three key components. Software-defined compute, software-defined storage, and software-defined networking. So it's essentially all about how do you move data, how do you process data, how do you store data. And having a true SDI infrastructure is essential for the CSPs to be successful in this journey. I understand that Red Hat also offers a hyper-converged infrastructure solution to help decentralize IT functions. Tell us more about this. With hyper-converged infrastructure, our implementation, our interpretation of that is how do you create, help organizations create an infrastructure where the compute and storage are converged on one single platform. And the benefit for customers is twofold. First is obviously cost the reduction of footprint, but more importantly, it's ease of manageability. So they don't have to manage compute and storage as two separate entities, it's all managed as one single entity. So the cost of uh, procurement, as well as the cost of management, it goes a long way in helping them be successful with their implementations. CSPs are facing a tidal wave of data and metadata, which until now has largely been underused or even dark. How will CSPs actually manage this data and where will they store it? So the, there are two or three key use cases, uh, especially the relevance of software-defined storage. The one is a lot of these communication service providers have tons of rich media which they want to deliver to their constituents, especially as the lines between cable companies and the telcos are merging, they need one single backbone of storage where it all gets stored and delivered. The second part is it really calls out why it's very important to have a scale-out storage because these CSPs are not talking about gigabytes or terabytes of storage, they're talking about hundreds of petabytes or even exabytes of storage. And the only way they can tame that storage beast is to have a true software-defined but a scale-out storage implementation. So, and that's what Red Hat brings to the table, our partners. Ranga, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Guy, thank you, thanks for your time.